Welcome back and from Nile University 100 to something that is really uh, uh, a little bit uh, light and entertaining and delicious. Uh, we're going to talk about the feasts that we, the bashes that we throw during the Greater Byram and the daily routine of the first three days and the festivities most Egyptians are familiar with. Whoever who is not familiar with uh, our feasts in uh, Greater Byram, you could uh, be attending uh, a full table full of uh, rice and uh, kinds of uh, dishes of uh, rice and uh, um, and meat bowls and uh, you know all kinds of meats uh, well cooked and uh, that has the sauce also and the gravy the, the certain kind of gravy gravy Egyptian uh, style uh, today we're going to talk with Dr. Munir William the, the professor of plastic surgery and nutritionist he's going to tell us about the proper diet during greater Byram and the dangers uh, dangers of eating excessive meat and you should underline that. And he's going to give us his do's and don'ts during the three or four days of Byron. Good morning, doctor. Good morning. Good morning, doctor. Good morning. Can you tell us why is meat important for humans in general? Okay, let's speak about uh, all types of food are put inside a pyramid. There is a special pyramid for Egyptians. This is a pyramid of foods for Egyptians. Also special pyramid for Americans. Special pyramid for Italians and so on. As for the special pyramid for Egyptians, which contains all types of foods, it is divided into four layers. In the base, we find wheat, rice, and pasta. In the second layer above, we find fruits and vegetables, which are important and main source for vitamins, minerals, and fibers. In the third layer, near to the apex, we find meat, which is animal with protein, and we find also constituents of animals, which has milk and cheese and so on. And the top, we find fats, polysaccharides, and starch. This is the pyramid for eating in the Egyptians. We find the meat just above, because most of Egyptians do not, uh, do not find meat. They find bread and wheat and rice in the base. Let's speak about meat, which is main constituent today. We find that meat is two types according to its color. There is a red meat, which is present in chicken and fish, and there is a white meat, which is present in chicken and fish, and there is a red meat, which is present in buffaloes and lambs and so on. This red meat, because it is red because it contains certain type of globin, which is myoglobin, which gives it its red coloration. The deeper the color,